on Father Anonymous for Paul Ryan. With a generation who gave you life, Paul Ryan, and you show total indifference to the outcome for any of us. When you're cutting, when you're cutting Medicare continuously and disingenuously because you specifically want to push people onto private insurance. The consequence of which is I live to listen to my wife as she's in tears because you can't afford the money for her prescriptions and she can't afford the, the co-pays to see the doctors. Her medical care goes all to hell and medical, medical care in America has entirely let her down. She is one of millions. While you sit that back up there on your silver throne in Washington with all the other incredibly rich people, all of whom show the same indifference to the welfare of those don't do, who don't do so well, and particularly after many were mowed down by the voodoo economics of Ronald Reagan. America belongs to the people and always did. It never belonged to Tories in suits with diamond rings and fake speeches. They were here once before and it took a revolution to get rid of them. Pray to God that doesn't happen again. I don't know of anyone who would stop it. Not after what Washington has done. There is only one acceptable outcome for you, Paul Ryan. You must end the wars. There's no chance anything will get fixed unless that happens first. Above all, we want peace. There is no other valid thing you can do before Americans and your Lord than to stop the endless killing of people you'll never see, never shed a tear, in any real way, since they're not yours and your people don't go. They never did. There are people dying in a battlefield, you'll bet. Hardly any of them have any money back home. There's no need for an editorial on that. We know how it plays and we know why you support it. This your pockets are filled with money with <laughs> graft and bribery from Wall Street to keep this going, to keep Big Pharma going, and to make medical care in America as, as close to impossible for those with any financial challenges as you can possibly make it. The position never changes. You never adapt. You never evolve in any kind of way whatsoever in response to the needs of the American people, which makes you characteristic of Washington and why so many of us are entirely alienated by the behavior or lack of it in that subpool of people. We've walked entirely away and 50% of us didn't even vote. You know the truth of it from the last election. There's always the hoopla about who did vote, but there's nothing said about who didn't. Now you know why. If you're ever hoping to run for president, Paul Ryan, you need to make some serious moves, because we will make just as sure you never get it as one who is even worse than Trump. We will not support anyone who is not actively working for peace, for America, forever. Do it or sit down, little man.